Hello, my crafty friends. Welcome. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I have another card kit on my desk. This one is from Spellbinders. It is their July card kit of the month, and it's called Damask Daydream. I'm going to be making up a few cards with this kit in this video, but let me show you what it includes first. So here is everything. This sheet tells you what's included, and then on the flip side, it shows you how to use the dies that you get in every single kit. I love the dies this time. I'll show them to you in just a minute. Here's the stamp set. Lots of pretty florals. I love it when stamps have flower images in them. Here's the pack of die cut shapes. I'll give you a closer look at these in just a minute. You get some 3D butterflies. These are really pretty because the wings are covered with acetate. And then here are the dies. I'm going to lay these out and give you a close up look at these. So it creates a beautiful floral frame. So with the largest die, you can cut that out twice and make a frame. And then it also coordinates with the stamp set. So it cuts out the flower with a stem. And it cuts out one of the sentiments, the sentiment that says hello. I love it when it has coordinating dies. I always like to store them on my Spellbinders diamond. So I'm just going to pick those up and put those aside. I haven't lost a die yet using that little tool. You get some beautiful clear gems and some sentiment stickers. You also get some chipboard stickers. This pack also includes some really pretty sentiments. I like that one at the top there. Here's some adhesive. You get double-sided tape as well as some foam squares. I love that they give you envelopes and card bases. You get 10 of each. It just makes creating cards so quick and easy with the pre-made card bases. Let's open up the pattern paper. I always love their pattern paper. It's a lightweight paper, perfect for layering. And you get two of each uh, design. I'll start at the back and just flip through these for you. So I had to look up Damask. And it's a fabric that they created back in the Middle Ages from Damascus or Syria. I had a vague idea what it was, but I had to figure out even how to say it. I wasn't sure how to pronounce that properly. But here are all of the pretty patterns. And then for the cardstock, I loved it this time. You get a dark shade of purple as well as a light shade. You get dark pink and light pink. And the same with the greens, a dark and a light. And then you get a double-sided gold cardstock page, white and yellow. Okay, so let's get into the die cut shapes. I'm going to open up this pack. Like the cardstock, you get two of each die cut shape. And you get a lot. <laughs> I'm just going to pull these out and put them on my desk and sort through them for you. I'll speed this up, otherwise we'd be here all day. There's so many in this pack. But I liked, I always like their pretty floral images and their sentiments. I use those a lot. But each month is something different and it's just fun to look through these and use them on my cards. For card number one, I'm going to use the die cut shape sentiment that says beautiful. So I cut out a piece of purple cardstock. It's going to be just an eighth of an inch smaller than the white card base. I'm using a piece of pattern paper that have purple diamonds on it, as well as some gold foiling. The little centers in the diamonds are gold. And then I cut out the die with some of the gold cardstock. I'm going to put this down in the corner. This is going to be a landscape card. I'll just glue that down flat. I popped up the sentiment with some foam pieces. I'll place that right next to the frame. I pulled out some leaves and a flower from the die cut shapes. And I was lucky that I was able to peel up the foam adhesive and tuck these behind. The flower I popped up with some foam squares from the kit. 
And then I do end up adding one more small leaf to this flower. But very simple and easy, but I love how it turned out. Here's a close-up look. And that's it for the first card. On card number two, I cut down some more of the pattern paper. I love this foiled striped paper. I'm going to put a strip of that at the side of the card base. I also cut down a piece of green cardstock, or no, this is pattern paper, sorry. And I'll overlap the gold foiled paper with this green one. I also cut out a circle with some vellum, and that's going to go behind my sentiment. So the sentiment comes from the chipboard stickers, and this says, think happy thoughts. I also pulled out this floral sprig from the die cut shapes. But I'm going to glue this. I know you could stick it, but I'd like to add a little bit of glue to it just to ensure that it's not going to fall off. So I'll glue it in the middle of the vellum. And then I popped up my floral sprig with some foam squares. And I'll place that at the side of the sentiment. Then I'm going to try and lift this up and add a little bit of glue behind the vellum and just behind the sentiment. But I like that touch of vellum. It's just a very soft touch to the card. I'll pull out some of the gems. And I loved all the different sizes of these. I like to use my all-in-one tool to lift these off the acetate and place them on my card. And I'll put one more at the bottom of this card. And here's a close-up look. Isn't that just soft and pretty? I just really love that sentiment too. It's so much fun. On card number three, I'm going to use the three roses from the die cut shapes. But let's put this card together first using a piece of yellow cardstock. This completely covers the white card base. And then I'm going to add this purple striped paper. I love the diagonal stripes on this. The sentiment, well, one of the two sentiments is going to say we have, we all have stories to tell. And I'll adhere that down flat with some dot liner at the top. The big rose, the big pink one, I'm going to adhere down flat as well. And then the purple and the yellow rose, I'll put some foam adhesive behind those and pop them up. I love that little trio of roses. It just looks so pretty centered on the card. I'm going to peel up the yellow rose again and add some leaves behind it. I like this gold and the green together. Let's get that in place. I found a little butterfly in the die cut shapes. It's just cute and little, <laughs> but I'm going to pop that up with a foam square from the kit and then just gently pull up the, the wings on this butterfly to give it some dimension. I'll place that right at the top. The second sentiment says, a precious life. I popped it up with more foam squares and a little bit of glue on the purple flower. And here's a close-up look. I also added more gems. So far, these cards are just kind of all occasion cards, just something fun to send out at any time. Next, I'm going to use the beautiful flower stamp. I'll stamp this a few times while I'm at it. I'm just using some white cardstock to stamp it onto. The first stamping didn't go so well, so I'll stamp it again. This is some VersaFine Onyx Black ink I'm using. And then I'm going to stamp it two more times. Then I'll have some of these flowers that I can use on the insides of my cards if I want to. But I love that this one has a die to cut it out. So I'll go ahead and cut out these flowers at least the ones that I stamped up properly. Let me find the metal die for that. 
And then I like to tape it in place with some of the Spellbinders craft tape. Just so it doesn't shift when I run it through my die cut machine. It leaves a white border around the flower once you cut it out, which I like. It's just a pretty touch and helps it to pop out from your card or differentiate it from whatever else is on your card. So here's one of them. I'll do the rest off camera. Isn't that just lovely? So let's put this card together. I'm using another piece of pattern paper for this. And I'm putting it onto a piece of black cardstock that I brought in from my stash. I just wanted this matted in black. And I'll show you why here in just a minute. I had to put it on top of my card because I can't see the black cardstock on my black work mat. So this is the reason I wanted to use a black piece of cardstock to mat this pattern paper. I bought some black licorice twine from Spellbinders and I've seen other crafters use this and they recommended it and they're right. It's just lovely. It's a very thin and it's just perfect to go on the fronts of your cards. So I'm going to adhere it in place with some of the double sided adhesive. I wrapped it around several times. Isn't that pretty? And then I'll go ahead and add a little bit more double-sided adhesive over these strings. This will just make sure it stays in place. But I thought this string just looks pretty with a thin black matting on this card. Once I put this on the front of my card base, it's going to have even a white matting around it. I love all of the different layers, just looks pretty. So I pulled a tag out of the die cut shapes. I'm going to tie a bow at the top of this tag. This is a very simple card, but yeah, I think this one is my favorite of the set that I create today. So let's pull off the release paper. I am going to add a little bit of cardstock at the top and the bottom of this card. This will help level out the twine. The twine is very thin, but I didn't want it to have even a slight bulge in the middle. So this will help make it all level. And now I can add a little bit more dot liner at the top and bottom over the white cardstock. And then center this on the card base. Next, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to add, well, I'm adding the dot liner behind the tag, which isn't different at all, but I'm going to tuck it in the strings, the twine strings here, and I just think that looks so cute. The flower I popped up with some foam adhesive, and I'll place that on the tag. Isn't that cute? For the sentiment, I'm going to stamp out the hello and use the coordinating die for that. I'll stamp another one out as, while I'm at it. So let's tape this die in place. I love these coordinating dies. They are fabulous. <laughs> they make it so easy. And again, it'll give you a white border around it. But let's just tape this in place. Then I'll take it off camera and cut it out. I'll put a little bit of glue behind this to attach it to the top of the tag. Next, I'm going to use the little heart from this sticker pack to put down at the bottom of the tag. I'm going to add a little bit of glue behind it just in case. But I like the little touches of gold on this card, on the tag and this heart. And then I decided it needed just a hint of color, just a touch. <laughs> so I bring in a green zig brush pen. And I don't color the whole thing in, just little bits here and there. And then for the flowers, I'm just putting down pink in the shadows and just kind of flicking that up. And it just needed a little bit of color. I like it much better now. It's hard for me to leave floral images just black and white. I just always want to color them in. <laughs> but here's a close up at this card. 
I really like that black licorice twine. It's fun to play with. Moving on, we're going to create another floral card using a pretty frame this time. So I use some Spellbinders circle dies to cut out that circle frame. I'm going to adhere it to the inside of a piece of pattern paper using some dot liner. So I'll attach that on the inside. I cut out a lot of footage here because I did fuss with this a lot trying to get it centered, but here it is. I also put down some Arteza foam tape completely covering the cardstock so that it gave it some stability. Otherwise it's just too thin and it would sag. Now I'm going to attempt to center this on my white card base. I don't do a perfect job and I debated whether pulling it up, but I didn't. I knew I would have ripped it. So I'm just going to keep going on. I pulled out more die cut shape flowers and I'm going to attach some of the pretty leaves to these flowers. I'm using some of Spellbinder's Barely Art Precision Glue. I love this stuff. I'll add one more green leaf at the bottom. The sentiment I'm going to mat with some green cardstock and pop it up with some foam strips and put that under the window. And then I decide to pop up the flowers with some foam squares. Once I use all of the foam squares, I cut up the actual foam piece and use that. So this stuff goes a long way. To add a trio to my little scene, I used a gold dragonfly. And then I had to bring in some of the gems. I used the largest one down at the bottom. And then two different sizes inside the window. And here's a close-up look at card number five. The sentiment on this card says, you've got grace. For my last card, I'm going to attach a piece of the foiled cardstock on the side of my card base. I cut down another piece of pattern paper. I really love this one. And I'll put that on the side of the gold paper. I'm going to stamp one of the sentiments that says beautiful right onto the pattern paper. I do end up stamping this a few times. I just couldn't get the F in beautiful to stamp out properly. And I don't like to smush it too hard, but uh, so the third time was the charm there. Next, I'm going to stamp a sentiment above it. This one says be your own kind of. And I thought this sentiment was really fun. This is a really easy card. I'm just going to pull out this Till Butterfly and this has three layers to it. It has the sticker, the paper, and then the vellum. Oh, as well as the gold body and the gold antennae. These are just lovely stickers. And then the last thing I'm going to do is add some of the gems. So this was super fast, but I thought it turned out really pretty. So I didn't end up making 10 cards with this kit like I usually do, but time just got away from me this month. But I sure had fun creating these six cards. Again, I'll have all of the links to the products listed below. And thanks for spending some of your precious time with me today. I know I sure enjoy watching card crafting videos. Here's a close up of the last card. And again, this card kit's called Damask Daydream. Take care, everyone. I'll be back again soon with another video. Bye.